Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now what's worse than one NVIDIA GeForce GT210, I hear you ask? Well, two of them. Well, no, but yes, at the same time. See, combining two GeForce 210s would certainly give you more power, but even so, it's a pretty shocking car to begin with, and immediately I could say that going out and purchasing something a little more expensive would be the better choice, but don't worry about things like that, because we're taking two of these Gigabyte G210s today, using different SLI Auto, a free program that lets you SLI two otherwise unsupported cards or two totally different cards and then seeing what sort of gameplay performance we can expect when doing this. Now this whole escapade is rather pointless. You could go out and buy a card that's a little more expensive than a 210 on the used market and see much better frame rates without making any tweaks. But for some reason this was quite a suggested video in the comments and who am I to deny the people what they want. This is a bad idea. So ladies and gentlemen here we are in the NVIDIA control panel and as you can see we have two GeForce 210s in SLI mode. Now setting this up is relatively simple. All I did was download the drivers from the GeForce 210 website. In this case it was the Gigabyte edition of the card. These are pretty old drivers. I think they're 310 point something. Let me just double check that for you now. Yeah, we're on version 3.10.90. The reason I'm using these drivers is because with the latest supported drivers, which I believe are 3.42.01, the SLI mod didn't work. We were seeing an immense amount of flickering on screen, which pretty much led to all the games crashing at startup as well. Now the program I used, as mentioned, was different SLI Auto, a link to which will be provided in the description down below. Once you've followed these instructions and you've done it once, well, it's fairly easy to do again with another set of cards, though, as I mentioned before, it isn't always worth it. It's simply a matter of clicking a couple of buttons, putting Windows 7 into test mode via the F8 key on boot, and once that's all done, well, you should be good to go. So with my two GeForce 210s, I'm using this old, slightly customized Alienware PC with a Core i7-950 inside, 12 gigs of RAM, along with, of course, the cards themselves. The reason I'm doing that is because this board is pretty decent and supports both Crossfire and SLI, although this little trick can be done on boards that don't support SLI as well. So we might as well get the bad news out of the way first. Both Crisis and Just Cause 2 did not want to work. As it was, this wasn't exactly the most solid of experiences. We still experienced the occasional stutter and flickering, as you'll see in a couple of later titles, but that's simply because the 210s were never meant to be SLI'd, and sometimes it works better than it does in other situations. For example, SLIing the two 710s worked a lot better, although it was as awkward to set up initially. Now, both Just Cause 2 and Crisis caused a system crash, but as we moved on to a couple of other titles, well, the results were certainly noticeable, and no more so than with Far Cry 2. Now, with the 210s set up here and ready to go, we were averaging around 80 frames per second, albeit on 720p low during the benchmark test, but this was almost double the result we saw with a single card. Now, the reason I recorded this screen today was because we were already having enough issues when trying to set this up, and externally recording just messed things up even more. So that's why I've gone for the old school Call of Duty style let's play video setup today. Now, speaking of which, World at War here, an absolute classic, ran fine with about 40 FPS on average, and as you can see, both cards are maxed out usage-wise, but we were getting a lot of interference on screen, a lot of flickering, ghosting, things like that, and nothing I could do would uh, turn this off. The average frame rate, though, was once again improved over what you can expect with a single GT210, though there will still be a few issues here and there. Now, where we saw the lowest difference between the dual card configuration and the single card configuration was in the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Don't get me wrong, there was still a nice improvement on that average FPS, but there were quite a lot of stutters with both setups here. The 210, to be completely honest, is a weak card, and even with two running together, it still won't allow you to play the 
modern and demanding DirectX 10 games that exist out there, but that is to be expected. I think though, you will see a nice improvement in some situations and it can certainly help, but it makes far more sense going out and purchasing a second-hand GPU for the price of one of these two tens brand new. Though, I do hope you enjoyed this video because I love to mess around with this old tech, see what we can do, and I think in the end, it was certainly a lot of fun. So with all that said, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hopefully, I'll see all of you in the next one.